Greetings, and welcome to the Quiet Minds channel, a haven where introverts of all kinds find their tribe. Today, we see into the intriguing world of INFJs and INTJs through the lens of a remarkable couple, Carol and Bob. Carol, an INFJ, is a rare gem, making up only 1% of the population. She is introverted, intuitive, feeling and judging, a combination that makes her compassionate, insightful and incredibly dedicated. Bob, on the other hand, is an INTJ, the introverted, intuitive, thinking and judging type. He is logical, driven and naturally strategic, a rarity making up just 2% of the population. Now imagine the day these two met. Picture a library, the hushed whispers, the rustle of pages, the scent of old books. Carol lost in a world of fiction and Bob engrossed in a strategic analysis book. A chance glance, a shared smile over the same book and the rest, as they say, is history. Their attraction was as instantaneous as it was profound. It was like two pieces of a puzzle fitting perfectly together. Two introverted souls finding solace in each other. And if you're picturing a whirlwind romance filled with grand gestures and loud declarations, well, you couldn't be more off the mark. Picture instead a quiet understanding, shared smiles over books and deep conversations that lasted into the wee hours of the night. Does that bring a smile to your lips? It certainly does to mine. It's almost as if their introverted tendencies acted as a magnet, pulling them towards each other. After all, who else would understand the need for quiet, the joy in solitude, and the beauty of a well-spent evening at home better than another introvert? Ever wondered how two such introverted personalities could have such a magnetic attraction? Stay tuned to find out. In the next scenes, we'll unravel the similarities and differences between INFJs and INTJs, and how Carol and Bob balance their relationship to create a harmonious union. So hold on to your seats, the journey is just beginning. Both INFJs and INTJs are indeed introverted, but what makes them tick and what sets them apart? Let's look into this fascinating topic using our friends Carol and Bob as examples. Carol, the INFJ, is often seen as the compassionate and creative one. She's intuitive and feelings-driven, often making decisions based on her gut instincts and the emotions of those around her. On the other hand, Bob, the INTJ, is the rational and strategic one. He's also intuitive, but his decisions are more likely to be based on logic and strategic thinking than emotional considerations. This leads us to their communication styles. Carol, with her empathetic nature, tends to express her thoughts and feelings openly, while Bob, ever the logical thinker, communicates in a more direct and concise manner. This contrast could have been a recipe for misunderstanding, but instead it became a strength for them. They learned to appreciate and understand each other's unique style, creating a balanced and dynamic dialogue. Next, let's talk about decision-making. Carol, being driven by feelings, makes decisions that align with her values and the emotional well-being of those involved. Bob, however, leans towards logical analysis considering all possible outcomes before making a decision. This difference might seem like a potential conflict area, but in reality it provides a comprehensive approach to problem solving. They found that Carol's emotional insight combined with Bob's logical reasoning leads to well-rounded decisions. Finally, their views on quality time. Both value their alone time, that's a given. But while Carol thrives on deep, meaningful one-on-one -on -one interactions, Bob prefers engaging in shared activities or intellectual discussions. This difference in preference has allowed them to create a variety of ways to spend quality time together, always ensuring they meet each other's needs. Understanding these traits was the key to Carol and Bob's strong relationship. But how did they manage to respect each other's differences? Well, stay tuned as we explore this in the next scene. They've learned to navigate through their differences, embracing them as strengths rather than obstacles. And that, my friends, is the secret source to their 20-year-long marriage. Respecting differences, that's where the true art of a relationship lies. For Carol and Bob, this was a lesson learned over time, a dance of understanding and acceptance that shaped their two-decade-long marriage. Carol, an INFJ, is introspective and sensitive, often dwelling on her feelings and mulling over complex ideas. Bob, an INTJ, is more analytical and pragmatic, preferring to work with facts and systems rather than emotions. At first glance, these differences might seem like a recipe for conflict, but instead they became the backbone of their strong relationship. 
they learn to appreciate and respect their differences, using them as stepping stones to understand each other better. Carol's empathetic nature helped Bob to tap into his emotional side, while Bob's logical approach helped Carol to see things from a more objective perspective. Supporting each other's goals was another aspect of their relationship they had to work on. Both INFJs and INTJs are driven and ambitious, but in different ways. Carol tends to be more concerned with personal growth and understanding, while Bob focuses on achieving tangible outcomes. They found a way to support each other without compromising their individual goals through open communication and mutual respect. Now let's talk about space. Both INFJs and INTJs value their alone time, a time to recharge and process their thoughts. They learn to respect this need, creating a balance between together time and alone time. Flexibility was another key. Life is unpredictable, and they learned to adapt to changes without losing their sense of self. Whether it was a change in career, moving houses, or dealing with a personal crisis, they faced it together, with patience and understanding. And when conflicts arose, they tackled them head on. They learned that open communication and mutual respect were crucial in resolving disagreements. Instead of letting their differences divide them, they used them as tools to strengthen their bond, to learn, and to grow together. Navigating these waters can be tricky, but it's all about finding the right balance. Through respect, support, openness and love, Carol and Bob have managed to create a harmonious relationship, a testament to the power of understanding and embracing differences. Before Carol understood her INFJ personality type, dating was a battlefield. She was a puzzle, trying to fit into spaces not meant for her. It was like trying to complete a jigsaw puzzle with pieces from different sets. And then everything changed when she discovered she was an INFJ. Imagine trying to navigate through life with a blurry vision, and then suddenly you find a pair of glasses that brings everything into focus. That's how it was for Carol when she discovered her INFJ personality type. It was as if she was handed a roadmap to her own mind, a guide to understanding her deepest desires, her strengths and her weaknesses. She understood why certain things drained her and why others energised her. She realised why she preferred deep, meaningful conversations over small talk and why she valued quality over quantity in her relationships. Now, let's think about the dating scene. It's like a marketplace, bustling with different personalities. Trying to find a suitable partner without knowing oneself is like shopping without a list. You end up with a lot of things that might look good on the shelf, but don't really go well together. But when Carol understood her personality type, she knew exactly what she was looking for. She knew she needed someone who would appreciate her depth of thought, her need for solitude, and her desire for authenticity. This self-knowledge didn't just help Carol find a suitable partner, it also helped her maintain a healthy relationship. She was able to communicate her needs more effectively and understand the needs of her partner better. It even aided in resolving conflicts and making key decisions in their relationship. And so, my dear listeners, the power of self-knowledge is immense. It's like a compass guiding you through the maze of life. It can help you find the right partner, build stronger relationships and lead a more fulfilling life. So, take some time to understand yourself, discover your personality type, unearth your strengths, your weaknesses, your preferences. When you know yourself, you can better navigate through life's many choices and challenges. Knowing oneself, that's the secret ingredient to a successful relationship. So, what's life like for Carol and Bob now? 20 years into their marriage, you might ask. Well, it's a tale of harmony, understanding and mutual respect, all enriched by their deep understanding of their personality types. Picture this. Two introverts, an NFJ and an ENTJ, thriving in their own quiet world. They revel in their similarities, celebrating their shared love for intellectual conversations and their mutual need for solitude. Yet, they also respect their differences. Carol's deep empathy balances Bob's analytical mind, creating a dynamic that fosters growth and understanding. Their communication is like a well-rehearsed dance. They've learned to articulate their thoughts and feelings in a way that the other can comprehend. They value their differences, seeing them as opportunities to learn rather than obstacles to overcome. Space? They've got that figured out too. They respect each other's need for solitude, creating an environment where they can recharge without feeling guilty or misunderstood. 
they've realized that being alone doesn't mean being lonely, and in their solitude, they find the energy to be together. They're flexible, adapting to each other's needs and quirks. They support each other's goals, understanding that their ambitions don't have to be identical to be valid. They've mastered the art of decision-making, using their combined logic and intuition to make choices that benefit them both. And when conflicts arise, they don't shy away. They face them head-on, using their understanding of each other's personality types to navigate through disagreements and come out stronger on the other side. Their quality time might not look like everyone else's. They might be reading in the same room, engrossed in their own worlds, yet completely content in each other's presence. But that's the beauty of it. They've discovered a way of being together that feels right to them, a way that respects who they are as individuals and as a couple. Carol and Bob's story is a testament to the fact that knowing oneself and one's partner can lead to a fulfilling relationship. What's your personality type? How has it shaped your relationships? Comment below and let us know. Thank you for watching and remember to stay curious about exploring personality types. Subscribe for more interesting content about the quieter personality types. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.